Emily Elizabeth. And this is Clifford, my big oh. red dog. Clifford needed Emily, so she chose him for her own. And her love made Clifford grow so big that the Howards had to leave their home. Clifford's the best friend anyone could know. He's the greatest dog ever. I really think so. Clifford's so loyal. Clifford. He's there when you call. I love Clifford, the big red dog. So they packed up a family car and the Howards left the city. They moved to Birdwell Island and their many new friends. There to greet Clifford and Emily. Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all. I love Clifford, the big red dog. Excellent. Where are you off to, Dad? I have an appointment with Dr. Majority today, Charlie. I think I need a new pair of glasses. Can we stay here, Dad? I could keep an eye on things for you. Well, I suppose it would be okay. Yes! But if you two need anything, be sure and ask Pedro. He'll be working next door today. We will. Okay, then. I'll be back in about an hour. See you soon. Bye-bye! Hey, Emily Elizabeth. Fancy an ice cream cone? Can we? Of course. My dad lets me have them all the time. Wow. I didn't know you knew how to work that thing. It's no big deal. Here you go. Excuse me. Can I get one of those too? And, uh... Sorry. We're shut for a while. But I can get you one. Do you think you should? Sure. I help my dad all the time. If you're sure it's all right. It's no problem, really. There you go, sir. Thanks very much. That was great, Charlie. Your dad will be really proud of you. Thanks. Oh, it's so hot. Well, I wouldn't give for an ice cream. Whoa, look at all the tourists. Get ready, Emily Elizabeth. We're going to do some business. OK. And a giant fan. What a perfect way to cool off on a hot summer day. Yeah, I'll definitely be coming back to this place again. Oh, I'm getting a bit tired. Me too. Is it always this busy? Sometimes it's busier. I don't know how my dad does it all. Uh, Charlie, that's high enough. Charlie, turn it off. I'm trying to.
was fun. I should have brought my water skis. Oh. Here, Cleo. Hurry and get rid of these, then come back for more. <laughs> oh, no! There's no more customers. Now what do we do? Well, uh, we... Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, start eating! This Cleo? Don't ask T Bone, just eat! Huh? Okay. Help. I can take care of things myself. Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> Maybe Clifford could help. Clifford! Clifford! Mm -hmm. Things. I can take care of this. See? All I see is a big mess. Oh. Hey, Clifford, give us a push. Hold on tight. Yippee! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Can I try? Let me try. My dad was here. Maybe there's some secret special way to turn it off. If there is, I don't know it. I know how to turn it off. Uh-oh. We're in trouble. Yes, you are. The secret is to lift up a bit before pushing down. Oh. But the only way you'd have known that is if I taught you. I'm sorry, Dad. We'll clean it up. Every last drop. Yes, you will. Why in the world didn't you go ask Pedro for help, Charlie? I thought I could take care of it myself, Dad. Charlie, you're not old enough to take care of everything by yourself. Sometimes you need to ask an adult for help. I know that now, Dad. From now on, I'll ask for help when I need it. I promise. Good. Then you've learned a good lesson today, son. But there's one more lesson. I'd like you to learn. What's that, Dad? How to clean up a really, really big mess. Right. right. I never want to eat another ice cream cone in my whole life. 
Me neither. Oh, me neither. Me neither. <laughs> really? <laughs> I was hoping they might spill some more. Well, it looks like you two did a pretty good job of cleaning. Thanks, Dad. But you missed a spot. I'll get it. <laughs> Thanks, Clifford. <laughs> Next on Tiny Pop, Clifford the Big Red Dog. 